long ride, tough day, and you're suffering from that nagging pain that just won't go away. Well, do not worry, because in this video, we're going to talk about a few fixes to make you more comfortable on your bike. Let's get into it. Pain free. First up, you want to try to avoid riding for long periods with your arms super locked out like this. What that does, it means you're going to feel every single impact of the road, all those vibrations, that's going to travel up to your shoulders and you're naturally going to start to tense up a bit more, which over time is going to cause a bit of pain in your upper back and your arms. So what I'd recommend is trying to bend your arms when you're riding, relax that upper back. And the fact that you have your arms bent means you can absorb the road a little bit more. By bending your arms, you do bring your body down a bit, so you might want to think about raising your handlebars just to relax into that position, so you're not increasing that angle at your hips and uh, allowing yourself to be a bit more comfortable over longer periods. So the saddle is designed to make sure that your sit bones are supported and one of the biggest tips we give for saddle discomfort is making sure that your weight is taken by your sit bones and what tends to happen when people ride with their saddles a little bit too far back is you tend to get this shift forward and you end up sitting on the nose of the saddle where essentially there isn't enough saddle to support your weight so try not to rely on this position long term. Same goes for your saddle being too high. Your hips will start to rock back and forth as you start to reach for those pedal strokes and it might be okay for short rides, but as you get onto those long rides, it is gonna be quite uncomfortable. You're gonna have an increase in saddle sores and it's gonna be really hard to keep those revs up. Saddle angle is an interesting one and it plays a crucial role in how comfortable you feel on the bike. And if you do change saddles, I find Personally, I do spend a good bit of time on the bike setting up and making sure it's all running correctly. Personally, I like to keep my saddle level, but I measure that from this point. So I keep the nose of the saddle flat if it is a curved one. If I measure it from the back, I find that it kind of angles the nose up a little too much and that closes my hips off and over time I find it quite hard to put the power down. So. My kind of balance point, my trade-off is to keep the nose flat and I find that keeps me in a comfortable position whilst also giving me the support needed on the saddle because I find if you tilt, tilt it down too much, what happens is you begin to just kind of slide forward on the saddle. It doesn't provide that support needed and over time you're using your core a bit more, those muscles in your lower back to keep yourself where you need to be and that then leads to fatigue and a bit of discomfort in your lower back and your hips. So yeah, for me personally, go for the nose level seems to work. Your hood position is super important to your comfort on the bike and it is where you're going to spend the majority of your time on long rides. I like to keep quite a neutral hood position so having them pretty level but you do see some people riding with them slightly angled down and this is going to make your arms a lot more stretched out and essentially give you that locked out arm and it's going to be really hard to get a nice relaxed upper body with your hoods in that position and it can also lead to discomfort in your shoulders and your upper back. Then on the flip side, if you have your hood angled up slightly, that is going to take a lot of pressure off your hands and your wrists and make you more comfortable. And it's going to get rid of that kind of tingling, numb sensation that you'd have in your hands if you had them angled down slightly. But it's all about finding a position that you are comfortable and relaxed in. Another easy fix to make yourself feel all comfortable on the bike is raising your handlebars. If you find that that drop to the bars is too much, you're overreaching, you just can't feel comfortable, maybe you're not using the drops enough, easy fix, raise the handlebars. I myself am a bit of a sucker for slamming my stem because I prefer the handling of the bike and the way it feels, you feel a bit more aerodynamic, it feels faster, but if that is sacrificing your comfort on the bike, it might not be worth it. Saying that, flexibility changes throughout the year. When I was racing, I found in the summer, warmer months, I'd feel more flexible and I was also riding more, training more, so I was able to, to ride with that quite aggressive drop. But then in the winter months, 
was wearing more clothes, I was colder, I wasn't quite as fit, and I struggled to keep riding. So I'd raise the handlebars. And if you're like me, what I'd recommend is keeping a good bit of steerer tube so you can manipulate your position a bit throughout the year and not go crazy like I did last year and just chop the steerer tube straight off. Can be quite an expensive fix. But a good warm-up can be one of the best ways to stay comfortable on the bike. Yeah, going out hard from the gun without a warm-up can kind of cause your muscles to tense up and not give yourself a chance to relax into the ride. And that means you kind of carry that discomfort and tension with you throughout the rest of the spin. You have to manage it the rest of the ride, which can, can be quite annoying, I guess. Yeah, a nice gentle warm-up to get your body and your muscles ready for the ride is one of the best ways to stay comfortable and keep you complaint-free. So there you go, a few easy fixes, which we hope will keep you more comfortable out on the bike and enjoy those rides in the sun. But let us know in the comment section below what you struggle with on the bike and how you like to stay comfortable as well. And whilst you're down there, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone.